ClickUp versus Notion versus Airtable comparison, which is better for project management. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I will be comparing the three most known software when it comes to project management. ClickUp versus Notion versus Airtable. And I will help you choose which is better for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So these three software are the best when it comes to managing project and get team collaboration. But also these three software has a lot of differences. So first we will be comparing their plans and pricing. First click up. ClickUp lets you create a rich text document for your marketing plans, reports, strategies, and other files. You can store them all in one place within ClickUp and even attach them to tasks. You can also edit and collaborate with your team members in real time here on ClickUp. And now let's check their plans. Here in this platform, they have a free plan where you can get 100 MB storage and limited task and members, two-factor authentication, collaborative docs, real-time chat, and more, even 24-7 support, which is really great for the free plan. Then the next plan is unlimited plan for $5 per month, everything in free plan included, plus unlimited storage and unlimited integration, and also unlimited dashboard. And you can give guest permissions as well to check or to do something on your behalf and more. The third plan is business plan for $12 and you can have more features like Google single sign-on, unlimited teams, custom exporting, advanced public sharing, advanced automation, advanced dashboard features, and more advanced features. And the fourth plan is business plan. Plus for $19, it includes everything in business plan, plus team sharing, subtask in multiple lists, custom rule creation, custom permission, custom capacity and workload, increasing automation and API, personalized admin training, and priority support. And they have also enterprise for more advanced features that you like to be added. And you must contact sales representative for this blind price. In comparison to Notion, Notion is a service that calls itself an all-in-one workspace for your notes, tasks, wikis, and databases. Basically, it's a tool you can use to organize your thoughts, projects, and information. Now, let's see its plan and pricing. So here, Notion also has a free plan for personal use that includes unlimited pages and blocks to organize your projects, share with five guests, sync across devices, API, and then the next plan is Personal Pro for $4.00. This is for power user who wants to do even more. You can have unlimited file uploads, unlimited guests, 30-day version history. Then third, you have the team plan for $8 per month. This is great to collaborate with your entire team in just one place. It also includes everything in Pro plus unlimited team members. The collaborative workspace let member easily share pages to the whole team. Collaborative workspace, sharing permissions, admin tools. And also you have your enterprise plan here for more advanced features. Sure. And the third one is Airtable. Airtable is an easy-to-use online platform for creating and sharing relational databases. The user interface is simple, colorful, friendly, and allows anyone to spin up a database in minutes. Now let's check its pricing plan. So this platform also has a free plan. It's perfect for individual or small team. It includes unlimited bases, up to five creators or editors, unlimited commenter and read-only user, one app per base, one sync integration, 1,200 records per base, two gigabytes of attachment per base, which is really great. With its free plan, Airtable is much better than Notion and ClickUp. Next plan is the Plus plan for $10 per month that include more features like three app per base, three sync integration, 
5,000 records per base, 5 gigabytes of attachments per base, and more. And the third plan is Pro for $20 per month, and these are the features included. And also, they have the Enterprise plan as well. From its pricing, if you are individual or if you have a small team and just starting using project management tool, then Airtable can be the best for you and make use of their free plan since features are better than Notion and ClickUp. But if you will be upgrading your plan to paid plan, Airtable is kind of expensive than ClickUp and Notion. Now let's take a look if which of these three platforms are more user-friendly when it comes to their user interface. Let me just log in to each of these platforms. Just give me a moment. So first, let's go to ClickUp. So this is the ClickUp dashboard. And over here, you can see your lineup task and to-do task. You can also directly add here new task and you can assign it to someone and set a due date. And to create or check your workspace to manage and organize your project, you can simply go to Spaces and click on Add New Space to create your project and name this workspace and just provide few information here. After that, this is your workspace now. You can simply add task here, assign someone, set due date, and set priority. And also just type slash to add more task action. You can also choose ready-made template here. Just click on add new space, click on templates. And here you can choose templates that you like that is good for your project and it is customizable. So going to Notion, Notion doesn't have main dashboard, but here on the left side is where you can navigate your workspace. So you have your default workspace here for meeting notes, docs, Team Home, Team Task, and Task List. And to create task, just click on Add Icon here and you can name your workspace. And you can add database here if you like to, like table, board, list, and more. Let's just start with empty. And by the way, you may also choose ready-made templates, same with click up. And for empty, you can start by typing slash to add some block like text, page, to-do list, table, and more. Let me choose templates here just to show a sample project that you can create here, something like this. Now let's go to Airtable and this is the main dashboard. And here you can create your workspace from here, add start from scratch. And here you can name your base or workspace. And here on grid view, you can simply type all your tasks here for your projects, add notes, attachment, status, and more. And you can add more column. Just hit this plus icon to add more column, like collaborator if you need to collaborate with your team, and more. So grid view will give you the familiar look of spreadsheet in organizing your project. And you can also have your calendar view to view your project by calendar. And you can check your daily task, weekly or monthly. If you are working with images, then gallery view can be perfect for you. And they have different view here that you can select from. And for me, using this software need a little learning curve because for beginners like me, it's a little bit confusing to make use of their software properly and the features that they have here. And from this software, you can also make your task colorful, but I don't know how to add colors, but you can learn it from watching YouTube tutorial. But for this status like to do, I know how to change the color here. You can customize its color, just click here. But for others, I don't know how yet. So those are the user interface of the three platforms. And so far for me, it's more easier to use the ClickUp. Plus ClickUp can easily give you access to assign task and set due date. And also the interface look professional and user friendly. Notion can also be great, but there is no option for you to assign task and set your own due date. So I guess that's all for today's video and I hope you learned something from this video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and thank you for watching.